in 2008 in Malaga in the quarterfinal, 8-7 for the Croats. Then in 2010 in Zagreb, 8-6 in the group match and 7-3 in the final for Croatia. 2014 in Budapest, 8-7 for Italy in the quarterfinal. And in 2016, as I mentioned, 8-6 for the Sette Bello. Actually, in the year of 2010 in Zagreb, 12 years ago, when Croatia went on to win the gold medal in the final, the opponent was Italy. No regrets, Croats had uh, mixed fortunes in the semis at the European Championships. In nine appearances, they only managed to win three times. They lost six times, including the last two in the previous two editions. Just an interesting fact, when they won, they scored 10 goals. When they lost, they netted less. So their last semi-final win came in Zagreb 12 years ago. Hungary are waiting for the opponent for Saturday's final. And the second semi-final is underway now. The Croatian the white caps. But the first sprint is won by the Settebello. So they have the first possession. Francesco Di Fulvio reached the ball first. Now Di Fulvio gets the ball and gets the call as well by the referees. Vincenzo Dolce, that's another free throw. Di Fulvio. One more pass to the center and the backhand shot saved by Marco Biac. So we already have save number one by the Croatian first choice goalkeeper. Lorenzo Bruni made the attempt. That's a free a corner throw for Italy. Fondelli. Di Fulvio. And let's go number one. The foul was committed outside the six-meter line. That could be a direct free throw this way. And Francesco Di Fulvio took advantage of that. That is a foul by Konstantin Harkov. And an action shot goal by the Sette Bello. So it's already goal number 12 for Di Fulvio at the tournament. Well, let's see what the Croats can answer for that. Ino Buric with the free throw. Harkov. Latovic, nine seconds on the shot clock. And there's the first exclusion foul of the game. The Greek referee, George Stavridis, spotted it, so... 6.05 for Croatia. Nicolas Preschut is out for 20 seconds. Harkov. And Harkov scores from the power play. And Croatia level the score. Excellent finish by the natural born Russian, Konstantin Harkov. the Croatian citizenship uh, this March and after that uh, it became eligible to play for Croatia as well so he's just left the other split this summer signing for Italian team Brescia Harkov that's also a curiosity of this uh, encounter here this Oma. for Delhi Di Fulvio. Di Somma. Di Fulvio. Nine seconds to the shot clock and the first exclusion foul in the Croatian team. So now the extra man advantage for Italy. Matthias Biaka is out. Fodeli. Di Fulvio. Di Somma. <laughs> That's a bit lucky goal for Italy. They take the lead for the second time. 
and officially the goal scorer, Eduardo Di Somma. That was the exclusion foul committed by Matthias Biaka. And Harkov tried to block the shot, but in the end, the ball went inside. And this way, Marco Biac couldn't do anything about that. 2 1 for Italy. Masic, Vatovic. Great support by the home fans. Loren Fatovic, Masic, and De Lungo is save number one, but the Croats have the ball after the rebound. Fatovic, Basic. And the second exclusion from Italy. So it is the number five, Andrea Fondelli, who leaves the pool for 20 seconds. Fatovic. Basic. Five seconds to the shot clock. Basic with the one-timer and the equalizer. The very last moment of this power play. Andrea Basic finds the back of the net. And it's Croatia to Italy to that was a similar goal, like on the other side. This time, block attempt by Eduardo Di Soma. And from his hand, the ball went into the net. Goal number four in the tournament for Basic. Di Fulvio. Canella. Once again, Canella, the MVP of this year's Champions League final tournament. We need the time to be Prodeco, of course. Canella, five seconds to the shot clock, and Canella hits the crossbar. But the Italians still have the possession. Canella, Di Fulvio. That's a free throw. And that was, I mean, the foul was committed now inside the six meter line. That could have been a goal at all. Luka Bukic is pushing forward now with the ball. Almost halfway through the first quarter. Two goals apiece. Fatovic is fouled. And fouled. Once again, so that's gonna be another exclusion. For the Italian number four, Jacob Alessiani, who fought. They would have the possession already. But he's out now for 20 seconds. So power play once again for Croatia. Fatovic. Basic, Hatovic, Shubera, almost a steal by Canella. Now the Italians managed to steal the ball, and it could be even a two on one situation. If Rubio is pushing forward, he's pretty fast. You can see it also in the sprint, in the start of the match. And here's the latest exclusion, this time from Croatia. Luka Bukic is out now. Di Somma. Di Fulvio. And that was a steal by the Croats. Now, if it's a Tutsak, wanted to see a fast break by the Croats. But no chance for that. Marco Juvara. A little more than three minutes remaining on the clock in the first quarter.
ティーテオアンドセイバイデルゴディスイスナンバーティーバイデキャプテンそれが1コーナーフローフォークロエシアアンドキャプ Has to be replaced. That's how we are waiting. Now, there's a cap, the spare cap. Here's Marco De Lungo, the captain of the Italian team, player of Proreco, also a former Brescia player. 32 years. Of age, Marco De Lungo, one of the experienced players in the Italian squad, but there are a couple of uh, new faces, of course, after the Tokyo Olympics, even after the World Championships. So there's another exclusion once again. The Croats in the power play. Luca Marcial is out. Juvara. Masic, Juvara. Two seconds and a shot clock. And Marco De Lungo saved the shot, so that's another corner throw. And another 20 seconds for Croatia. One second from the exclusion. Mazia will be back to the water in a moment. Alessandro Campagna is complaining about something. He's warned by the Serbian referee, Vojim Putikovic. Juvela, night six on six already. No more power play. Juvela, Vasic. Juvela is fouled. Marinic Kragic. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Fatovic with the attempt. It's easy to block by the Italians. Well, I'm not sure about that, that uh, we're going to see so many blocks as in the first semi final by the Hungarians. There were a dozen blocks by the Hungarian team, which was uh, really amazing. Almost a perfect defensive play by the defending champion against Spain. Lizoma. Di Fulvio. And that's an easy save for Marco Biac. This is number two for the goalkeeper of Olympiakos. And here's the other Croatian goalkeeper, Tony Popadic, the goalie of Juk Dubrovnik, also celebrating the latest save. Lazic, Zubara. Franco Lazic. An exclusion once again. From the Settebello. Eduardo Di Somma is out. This is his first personal foul. Fatovic, Marinic Kragic, and another exclusion. So now it's a 6 on 4 situation. Di Fulvio is also out. Double advantage for Croatia. Patovic, Marinic Kragic, and he scores. One of the Italian players was back to the water. But that was not enough to prevent Jerko Marinic Kragic from scoring his first goal. And Croatia taking the lead for the first time. Marco De Lungo tried his best to save this, but Marinic Kragic, a local guy coming from Split, and also a player of Yadran Split, who managed to level the score. Yeah. 53 seconds to go. An exclusion this time from Croatia. 
That's a six on five situation for the Italians. And the Lazic is out. This is his first major foul. The Settebello try to make the equalizer. And they also have the double advantage now. A second Croatian player also out. It's actually Marinic Kravic. Great chance for the Italians, but now it's six on five already. And they didn't manage to score. Marco Biac with the latest save. And Jacob Alessiani with the attempt, and Biac. Excellent save. Luka Bukic, in the last couple of seconds. Turn of a foul. And there's the end of quarter number one. So Italy took the lead twice in this match, but Croatia managed to turn the score. Now they have a narrow lead after the first quarter. Both goalkeepers on uh, three saves. We had now 66.7% save efficiency. So Ivica Tutsa can be satisfied at least with the defensive play of his team. And that's 2010 against Hungary. The set Tabello that time beat the Hungarians by 10 goes to 8 in Zagreb. But they were beaten by the host team in the final. So 3-2 for Croatia, and second quarter is just about to begin. There it is, the second sprint. Once again, the Italians grab the ball, Jacopo Alessiani. He was faster that time, 2-0 in the sprints for Italy, but 3-2 for Croatia. The score in the second semi-final. Fondelli. And Fondelli, the Italians only needed 20 seconds after the restart to score their third. And now also Andrea Fondelli on the score sheet. This is only goal number two for the defender of the Settebello. Great action shot goal. Fondelli, another Reco player. Actually, he returned to Reco from Savona this summer. Marinic Kragic, Harkov. Now the first exclusion in the second quarter. Vincenzo Dolce is out for 20 seconds. Harkov. Can the Croats regain the lead? Juvena. Marinic Kragic. And another deflected shot. And once again, it's somehow going behind the goal line. Jerko Marinic Kragic for the second time on the score sheet. And once again, Croatia in the lead. There's a pass from Jubela. And Luca De Monte tried to make the, the block. De Lungo beaten for the fourth time. Di Fulvio. Canella. Exclusion. So Rino Buric with his first major foul and the 6 on 5 for Italy. The 
They've almost lost the ball, but they still have the possession and still exclusion. Canela. Biac makes the save. Biac, the big hero of the Croatian crowd here at the Spalatim Arena. So still 4-3 for Croatia. Van Gola piece in the second quarter. Juvela. Oh, what to save by Delungo. That's what save number four. Now the Italians with the fast break. But that pass was not the best one. Now it's even a turn of a foul. Juvela. Mukic. Kuric. Josip Rulic, the veteran player in the center position, and he's fouled. Rulic told Ivica Tutsak before the European Championship that he would retire from the national team, but he's still here once again, maybe for one more time, one last time. And he went desperately that gold medal with the Croats. Shot went wide. Marco Juvela missed the target. And the score remains 4 3. Luca da Monte. Now the latest exclusion. So once again, 6 on 5 for Italy. Marco Juvera is the excluded player, but this is only his first personal foul. Canella, Doce. Now the Monte with the attempt, but the Italians grab the ball after the rebound. And they still manage to level the score. So Luca Marziali makes it 4 all in the second semi-final. Marziali is a player of Telimar Palermo. 31 years of age, former Posilipo and Nervi player, but played in some other Italian clubs as well, like uh, Sori, Boyasco and Aquachiana. Goal number eight in the tournament for Marziani. Basic. Marinic Krakic. Now turn of a foul. The captain of the Croatian team, Ivan Kravic, Krapic, uh, committed it and Another power play for the Settebello. And a chance for them to turn the score. Harkov is out for the first time. And they score. Francesco Di Fulvio. Still with 100% shot efficiency. He was the first goal, sc first goal scorer of uh, Italy today. And so, uh, so far the latest one as well. 5-4 for the team of Alessandro Campagna. Nice goal number 13 already in the tournament. Marinic Kragic. Basic gets it back from Lazic. Basic and the ball is inside. Marco De Lugo didn't manage to make the save. And this is an action shot goal by the Croats. Andrea Basic.
So just like Jerko Marinic Kragic, the teammates, now Andrija Vasic also has two goals to his name. Four out of the four, uh, five Croatian goals coming from these two players. Vasic, who signed for German team Hannover from Telemar Palermo. That way, he will have the chance to play in the Champions League. Exclusion once again. Canella. Dolce. Biaka has two personal fouls to his name already. And the mistake by the Italians. They've lost the ball in the power play. That's really a lucky move by Jacopo Alessiani. Made that mistake. Buric. Lazic. Juvena. Still by the Italians. Great defensive play by Nicolas Presciutti. But the Croats win back possession. The Serbian referee spotted a third of a foul. Boric. Juvera. Lazic. Juvena. Nice exclusion from the Sette Bello. Giacomo Canella is out. His first personal foul. Marinic Kragic. Juvena. Bukic. And the one timer by Jerko Marinic Kragic. And the guy from Split makes it 6 5. For Croatia, theory split. Goal number three already by the Adrian, split, Adrian player. The pass came from Luka Bukic, another Adrian player, a teammate of Marinic Kakic, or clubmate, I should say. And Croatia. In the lead now, once again. Di Fulvio. Doce. Di Fulvio. Rasciutti, Di Fulvio. Rasciutti. And a big clash in the center position, and it's a turnover foul. The call was against uh, Luca Marziali this time. Basic. Lazic. Back to Andrea Basic. The long distance shot, easily blocked by the Italians. So inside the last minute of the first half, the Van Gogh gap in favor of Croatia, the host team. Exclusion from Croatia. Luka Bukic, this is his uh, second major foul. Di Fulvio, Dolce, Di Fulvio. Back to Dolce, and excellent save by Biac, and he has the possession. A missed power play by Italy. 
and still 11 seconds to go. Lazic. Marinic Kragic. One last attempt, saved by Marco De Lungo. And this is the end of corner number two. And once again, an excellent match here at the Spalati Marina. Croatia have a one goal lead at half time. So Croatia six, Italy five. And we're going to have the third sprint. It looked like it could be possession for Croatia. Actually, Konstantin Harkov reached the ball first, but that pass was uh, too bad for the teammates. Soma. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Damonte. And already the first exclusion of the third quarter. Andrija Basic is out. If he's a first personal foul. Great defensive play by the Croats. Di Fulvio. Damonte. Di Fulvio. Two seconds. And there's the block. Eduardo Di Somma was denied, so the score remains 6-5 for Croatia. Another pass to the center, an exclusion from Italy. So Croatia in the final play, Nikonas Presciutti. Personal foul number two for the record player. And the Croatians managed to take advantage of that. And for the first time they have a two-goal lead. Croatia seven, Italy five. That was the exclusion foul committed by Nicolas Presciutti. And that was a great power play. Marco Juvena managed to find the back of the net. Juvena is, who is uh, one of the youth Dubrovnik players, also born in the city of Dubrovnik, south of uh, Split. And Yugi is a former Multiple Champions League winner. Nice exclusion from Croatia. So Lazic will be out. And Alessandro Campagna calls for a timeout. Campagna, who is the longest serving head coach in the pool deck. In his debut year with Italy, he reached the final in 2001. And after spending a longer spell in Greece, he returned to the bench of the Settebello in 2009 and guides the team ever since. But he's still without a European gold medal with the Italians. Knights of Power Play. Canella. Doce. Canella. Damonte. And Viac. This is save number eight, and that's a corner throw for Italy. Still a power play for a couple of moments, but now 
It's six on six. And the right post save the Croats. And Konstantin Harkov grabbing the ball. Still 7-5. Basic. Harkov. Basic. Fatovic. And a turnover foul. So it's already Gianmarco Nicosia in the Italian goal. Replace Marco De Lungo after the first quarter, but he's still yet to make a save. Nice inclusion from Croatia. This is the second personal foul for Konstantin Harkov. Damonte, and there's goal number six for Italy. Vincenzo Dolce on the score sheet now. This is goal number seven in the tournament. Dolce is a player of Brescia. Former Salerno Posilipo. Canottieri and sport management player. Marinic Kragic. Basic. Marinic Kragic. And the Italians make the save, the steal, and now they have the possession. Damonte with a long pass forward to Vincenzo Dolce. Still Dolce. Damonte joins the action. It will be all. And Viac had to make an excellent save. That was a powerful shot by Francesco Di Fulvio. Almost goal number three. Free throw for Italy. And this time, Di Fulvio manages to find the back of the net, and that's the equalizer for the Settebello. Almost at the midpoint of the third quarter. Di Fulvio levels the score. No chance this time for Marco Biash to make the save. Bukic. Markov, Bukic, and Konstantin Harkov, eight seconds in the shot clock. And this time the left post saved Nicosia and the Italians, and the Serbian referee has spotted something, so that's an exclusion from Croatia. And for Luka Bukic, it's the final Exclusion. So just like Luca Marziali from Italy, now also Luca Bukic is out of the game. Damonte. And what a steal by the Croats. Konstantin Harkov. Two years ago, he was, of course, member of the Russian team in Budapest at the Duna Arena. Harkov. Now one of the key players of this Croatian team. And the next 
Lucic shot goal by Croatia. How about that? Lino Bulic takes the lead for Croatia once again. That is a great goal by Lino Bulic, the player of Yadran Split. Actually, he had his uh, debut at the national championship earlier this year, 25 years of age. Started playing water polo in the year of 2007 when the Croats won the World Championship title, the famous final against Hungary. And his club coach, Miles Modlaka, was that time the great center of the Croats. Nice exclusion from Croatia once again. The number seven, Matthias Biaka, is also out of the game. There's the third and final exclusion. So two Croatian players already ejected. But Marko Biac makes the save for the tenth time today. Giacomo Canella made the attempt. More than two minutes remaining on the clock. Buric. Exclusion from Italy. And Ivica Tutsak calls for the timeout this time. Kutak, who's been in this position since uh, 2012, became the head coach of the Croatian national team after the Croats won the gold medal at the London Olympic Games. He became world champion with the team in 2017. He's looking for his uh, first European Championship title as a coach of the Croatian team. Luca da Monte is out. That's a 6 on 5 for Croatia. And it's even a 6 on 4. And another red card. Bisoma was complaining about the call, and for descent, he was shown the red card. The second red card for Italy and goal number nine for Croatia. Well, Jerko Marinic Kragic scoring for the fourth time already. Excellent match by the other speed player, Jerko Marinic Kragic. This is goal number 12 in the tournament. Doce. Exclusion from Croatia. Second personal foul for Rino Buric. And the Italians desperately need the goal now. Doce. And they do that. That is a great power play, and Andrea Fondelli made it 9-8. So the Croats still in the lead, but it's now only a one goal gap in favor of the hosts. mentioned return to Poreco earlier this summer from Savona.
And also Ivica Tuzak got a yellow card for this hand. So really tense match. And here's Eduardo Di Soma out of the game with the red card. That could be a problem. Don't forget that Renzuto is missing. So only 12 players in today's squad for the Setebello. And two of them are already ejected. Buric. Lazic. Patovic. Nine seconds on the shot clock. And now a turnover foul. And the Italians can push forward to level the score before the end of quarter number three. Damonte. Fondelli. And Fondelli scores. Two goals in succession by Andrea Fondelli. He only had one goal to his name before the start of this match. Well, it was never a goal. Sorry about that. So, still 98. Fondelli for the second time, not on the score sheet. That is the end of quarter number three. Tense match not only for the players, but only, uh, also for the commentators, of course. And a game like that is not easy for the head coaches, that's for sure. Both coaches have been born already. They were shown the yellow cards and two red cards for the Italians, Luca Marziali and Eduardo Di Somma. Two Croatian players with the final exclusion, Luca Bukic and Matthias Vijaka. And the Italians grab the ball in the last sprint. So falling in the sprints for them, but Croatia have the lead regarding the score. Podelli. Damonte. Doce. Three seconds to the shot clock. Damonte. What about that one timer? That was. Goal number one by Damonte and the Ferenc Varos player leveled the score. Well, that couldn't be tighter than that. That's an action shot goal by the Italians. Only a touch by Marco Biac, but he couldn't make the save. Marinic Kragic, Patovic, Harkov, Marinic Kragic, six seconds of the shot clock, Harkov, and the block by the Italians, Harkov is denied. Doce. Damonte. Doce. Back to Luca Damonte. Now seven seconds in the shot clock. The Fulvio gets the call. And the block by Franco Lazic. Only one goal so far in the last quarter scored by the Italians. So the hosts are still looking for the first goal in the last period. But now they are in the power play. So it's the end of the match also for Andrea Fondelli. This is the third and final exclusion, so three field players already ejected.
from the Sete Bello. But the Croats missed the chance. That was a great block by Vincenzo Dolce. And the shot went over the crossbar. Dolce. Bruni. Back to Dolce. So the score remains 9-0. Marco Biac once again with an excellent performance. Only seven field players in the Italian team now who are available. Now Gianmarco Nicosia tries to find a teammate. Di Fulvio. Davonte gets the call. It's a free throw. And Marco Biac made the save. It's getting more and more exciting. Nine goals apiece. We are in the last quarter. Four and a half minutes remaining on the clock. Harkov. Lazic. Exclusion from Italy. Vincenzo Dolce is out now, his second personal foul. And the Corrats almost lost the ball, but they still have the possession. Harkov and Nicosia with the save. That's a corner throw. Well, also Dolce. And Nicolas Presciutti have two personal fouls to their names. Not an easy situation for the Italians. Now it's six on six already. But the Croatians still managed to score from that situation. And Andrea Basic, the latest goal scorer of the match. No chance at all for Gianmarco Nicosia. Great assist by Franco Lazic. And now Andrea Basic has three goals to his name. Still, Marco, uh, Jerko Marinic Kragic, the top scorer of the match, scoring four times. Damonte. Prasciutti. The foul on Vincenzo Dolce. And Andrea Basic is out. His second major foul. An extra player advantage for Italy. Damonte. And that's a great power play by them. Lorenzo Bruni. He's the target. And it's Croatia 10, Italy 10. That was the exclusion foul committed by Andrea Basic. <laughs> so all even now. Three minutes and 22 seconds to go. Harkov, no penalty shootouts so far today. Now we have a realistic chance to see one here in the second semi-final of the men's tournament. 
Nicosia makes the save. But now free throw for the hosts. Marinic Kragic. Lazic. Harkov. Now the right post saved the Italians. And now they have the possession. So we are already inside the last three minutes of the game. Doce. Biatch with the latest save. This is number 13 by the Olympiakos goalkeeper. An exclusion from Croatia. The crowd is not happy about that. So, 6 on 5 for Italy. Davote and the missed chance by the Settebello. Less than two minutes to go. Rino Buric. And the turnover foul. And the possession goes to Italy and Nicosia. He didn't manage to pass the ball to the teammates and he pushed the ball under water. So that's why, that's why it's a, a five meter penalty for Croatia. Nicosia gets the ball from the teammates and he pushed the ball under water. And that's a great chance for Croatia. So it is Konstantin Harkov who tries to take the lead for Croatia once again. Another ejection. Vincenzo Dolce is also out. So no more substitute field players. Of course, Marco De Lugo could uh, come to the water as well. That happens sometimes in water polo, but... These six field players... We need to... ...keep the pace until the very end of this semi-final. So, Konstantin Harkov. Harkov against Nicosia. And Harkov scores. And it's Croatia 11, Italy 10. Goal number two for the national born Russian, Konstantin Harkov, who joined the national team, the Croatian national team, earlier this year. Now it's only Francesco Di Fulvio, Luca De Monte, Giacomo Alessiani, Nicolas Presciutti and Lorenzo Bruni from the three players of Italy who are available for Alessandro Campagna. De Monte, exclusion from Croatia. And Marco Biac made the save. Franco Lazic is also ejected. That was the final exclusion. But the Croatians have the lead. And now we are heading for the last minute of the game. If Croatia once again managed to score from this offensive play, 
and it will be all over for Italy. Basic. Harkov, the shot goes wide. 44 seconds to go. One last chance for Italy to put this match at least to the penalty shootout. And Alessandro Campagna calls for the timeout. What a crazy match it is here in the Spalletti Marina. So Marco Jubala will be out. That will be another 6 on 5 situation. And he's also out of the game. So Lazic, Bukic, Biak and Jubala out of Croatia. Fondelli, Marziali, Di Soma and Dolce out of the Settebello. Who will be the shooter? Who's going to shoot on the goal of Marco Biac? He's been once again really impressive today, saving a total of 14 times. Italy now have the extra play advantage. If will be all. Damonte. Alessiani. If will be all. And the block shot, and Croatia survived. 25 seconds to go. And the crowd are already celebrating in the stands. All they have to do is to keep the ball until the end of the match, and Harkov Makes no mistake. But now, the possession goes to Italy. And now it's all over. But it was a timeout. So still 5.3 seconds left in the clock. Actually, the referees didn't realize that uh, that is a timeout call. And it was actually Vica Tuzak who called for the timeout. That was the last attempt by the Italians. Giacomo Canella tried to beat the Croatian defense, he didn't manage to do that. But it's still not over yet, officially at least. The last check at the jury table and in the VR system. Tomasz Molnar, the three-time Hungarian Olympic champion, also there as an official. Alexander Bitadze and Matthias Zerakovic, the two DWPC delegates for this match. Radoslav Korizna, the VR official. There was Ivica Tutsak calling for a timeout in time. There's a question now. And that's the case, so Croatia has the possession. And this way, no chance for the Italians to do anything in the last five seconds. So that is the end of the second semi-final, and it's going to be Croatia against Hungary on Saturday here in the final. The team of Ivica Tutsak has done it. A really tense match here at the Spaladi Marina with a total of eight ejections.
Yellow cards for both coaches. And in the end, narrow victory for Croatia. So just like 12 years ago in Zagreb, also on home soil, once again they go to the final. Alessandro Campagna is not happy about that. So the final score, Croatia 11, Italy 10. And Croatia still unbeaten at the European Championships. Italy will play for the bronze medal against Spain. That will be the rematch of the World Championship final. We already had the rematch of the European uh, Championship final from the last edition. Hungarians once again defeated the Spaniards with excellent defensive play. There's a celebration by the home fans. Let's check the full-time statistics. 39% shot efficiency for Croatia, 33 for Italy. Total of 13 extra player goals. Actually, a total of uh, 34 personal fouls. And here are the top scorers of the match. Jerko Marinic Kragic, the local guy from Split, scoring four times. He was the top scorer of this semi-final. So, Hungary against Croatia in the final on Saturday. Spain against Italy for the bronze medal match. But tomorrow it's going to be the last comp competition day of the women's teams, including the final, of course, between Spain and Greece. Radko Rudic, one of the living legends of Croatian water polo, a former head coach, also celebrating and Alessandro Campagna is very furious about that. So, thank you for your attention also today. Don't forget, tomorrow it's going to be Women's Day.